him together. Thank God for bringing us through the week. And we can thank God for that Sunday school lesson taught this morning. I didn't catch all of it, but thank God for what I caught. Like I said, we have some, I think we always say we have some wonderful lessons. And we do. You know, those, those folks really know how to put some words together. And it's timely because you can apply it right now. Not something that you have to go in the past and find, but you can find, if you look, find yourself in it right now. Well, we thank God. We welcome you to the Apostolic Doctrine Evangelist Church of Jesus Christ, where our pastor is Bishop Silas Myers. And uh and where he has set before us to genuinely love and passionately reach. And I thank God often, often think about during the week, sometimes I think about, you know, I've never known bad, bad spiritual leadership. I thank God I can testify to that from my father, my grandfather, and now to my brother. I can honestly say we are under good leadership. And I thank God for that because everybody don't have that testimony. <laughs> Like I say, you, you hear about a lot of bad things, and especially over the last couple of years, how you hear a lot of bad things about spiritual leadership. But I thank God that we are under good leadership, under good God leadership. And I think, you know, again, we should praise God for that every day. And I think it's underrated because it's supposed to be normal. <laughs> but, you know, it is. You have a lot of good, good spiritual leadership. But I thank God I can testify to that. Uh, right now, we're going to... Uh, Come from the 89th division of Psalms. It reads, I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. With my mouth will I make known thy faithfulness in all generations. And I thank God for reading of his word. Uh, like it says, we will sing of the mercies. And the Bible talks about us having brand new mercies every day. When you wake up, brand new mercies. You know, and great is his faithfulness toward us. Uh, we ask you to read to come forth and give us our prayer. Thank you, Lord, for everyone. Praise the Lord. In Jesus' name, praise the Lord. And let us look to the Lord in prayer. Eternal God, we thank you once again for this beautiful day you have made. We thank you for blessing us to be in the house of the Lord, to lift up your name today, Father. And Father, we ask you to remember our sisters and brothers today who are on the prayer list, and especially yes. Brother Melvin, praise God, yes. and Sister Marty. We continue to pray for them, and Brother Ty yes. and his mother, Sister Lillian, yes. uh, Brother Ka you, brother uh, Carla, Sister Kat, Sister Darlene, praise the Lord, Sister Parker, praise the Lord, Mother Martin, Sister Mary, praise the Lord, all of our sisters. Sister Bonnie and, and all Sister Brunner, everyone, Sister Rudy and all our sisters, Father, we are praying for in the name of Jesus, Father. And Father, we ask you to bless this service today. Bless the speaker of the hour as he comes forth today, Father. Bless us to receive your word today, Father. Oh, we thank you for your word, so alive, so beautiful, and it blesses our soul. We ask you to bless the service today. And bless everyone that is looking on screen line today. Bless them also, praise God, to be able to be present in your presence, Lord. So we thank you for your people. We continue to pray for our children and our young people, Lord, that you will continue to bless them, to have a mind to be steadfast, Father. Oh, in the name of Jesus. We pray that you have your way today, Father. In the precious name of Jesus, we pray. Let us all say amen. Amen. Thank you to read for that prayer. We all, again, we're going to come before you with these selections and uh, in our attempt to praise God the best way we know how. Amen. And we ask again to join us in these songs. The windows of heaven are open and the fire is boiling tonight. I've got joy, joy joy in my soul since jesus made everything all right yes i gave him my old filthy garment Oh, the windows of heaven are open, and the fire 
holy kind. I've got joy, joy, joy in my soul. And Jesus made everything all right. Oh, yes, Bring in my own filthy garment. Change for a Windows of heaven are open. That is why I'm happy tonight. Oh, that is why I'm happy. That is why I'm happy. That is why I'm happy tonight. Joy, joy. that song. I know the old song, so I had to remember the words of it. But one thing I know is that I love to praise the Lord. How many of y'all love to praise the Lord? We need to praise the Lord this morning. Every day of our life, we need to praise him. I love to praise him. I love to praise his name. I love to Hallelujah, hallelujah, 
at this time just please remember everyone who's on the prayer list that's posted on the bulletin board thank god for that thank god for that's uh, offering time thank god if something anybody can uh be involved in I'd like to say that and that's the truth <laughs> you know and, and we thank god for gonna get everyone that's here and everyone that's on the screen and uh, we turn it to the hands of the ushers what they can read Um, bless the service with your offering, and we sure really appreciate that. Praise the Lord. So we're going to ask you to stand at this time. Praise the Lord. I tell you, the Lord is worthy to be praised. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Give, give, give. Give it in Jesus' name. Give. Father, once again, we thank you for who you are. We thank you for your mighty word. 
your powerful word. Yes. Praise God. Yes. We thank you for the plan of salvation. And we just thank you for how you continue thank to speak to Jesus. your people. Praise God. Speaking healing, speaking thank deliverance, Lord Father, in the name of Jesus. Name Lord, Lord, we thank you for the offering. Praise God. Jesus. And Father, we just want to give you praises today because we realize we can do nothing on our own. And we look to you, praise God, in time of trouble, in time of sadness, in time of good time. We know that you are always there. And Father, we thank you. Thanking you for giving us a mind and a heart to have compassion with one another. And bless us to continue to witness to your people every way that everyone might hear what does say the Lord. We bless your name. We praise you today. We lift your name up, Father, in the name of Jesus. We thank you for the beauty of holiness, and we just thank you for these last and evil days and how you're going to come and gather your people together, praise God. So we bless your name. We thank you for this opportunity. In Jesus' name we pray. Let us all say amen. Thank God for that. Now we have our uh, last selection. This selection um, has been laid on my heart this morning, and I, I pray that y'all will sing with me um, on this morning with it, um, even while it's raining right now. And that's, that's what brought it on my heart. We're in your presence. Let it rain. Oh, your rain. Let it fall on me. We're in your presence, let it rain, oh, your rain, let it fall on me, and open the floodgates in abundance. Cause your rain to fall on me. Open the floodgates in abundance. In cause your rain to fall on me. Say, Papa. Oh. 
to follow me. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We want the Lord to reign on us. Amen. Let's give God a praise in the house of the Lord. We want him to open the floodgates. Amen. Uh, in abundance, amen. And just uh, reign on his people on this morning. Amen. Thank God for his blessings. Thank God for the worship. Thank God for your giving. Amen. And everything that has happened today. Amen. We thank God for uh, just everyone. Uh, we praise God for everyone who has joined us by uh, media. Uh, we encourage you to like and to share and make your comments uh, as the service is going forth. Uh, and we thank God for everyone who is in the sanctuary. Amen. And we just want to continue to pray for those who are in need on today. Amen. Continue to pray for uh, Tyere. Amen. Continue to pray for uh, Brother Melvin. Amen. And um, um, uh, Mother Myers and, and others. Amen. Uh, Sister Lily. Amen. Just uh, all those that we know uh, are in need on this morning. Let's continue to lift them in our um, prayers amen the lord will uh, bless and touch them in jesus name amen we're going to go into the word of the lord amen the book of second corinthians chapter number three second corinthians chapter number three and we're going to be in the 14th through the 18th verse amen we're not going to read right now amen i want to lay a foundation but we're going to be there in second corinthians chapter number three amen uh we thank the lord uh for deacon reed amen thank god for uh Ella pelham and thank god for my wife amen lady tiffany in the house of the lord amen today praise the lord amen and this all of the one of people people of god amen we're so grateful unto the lord amen for you uh you you and you amen so we thank god we thank God. Amen. We're going to uh, pray. Lord, we thank you for your blessings. We thank you for this time. Thank you for this opportunity that you have brought us into your house. Thank you, oh God, for your people today, Lord. Thank you, oh God, for your, the worship. God, I pray that you have received it, oh God, in your nostrils as a sweet-smelling savor in Jesus' name. God, I pray now that you bless us as we go into your word. Speak to our hearts and to our minds. Uh, illuminate us so God open our understanding I pray that you help me God to decrease and I pray that you will increase in me now Lord bless your people as only you can in the name of Jesus Christ I pray amen praise the Lord again before we, we read the scripture amen I'm going to uh, give you my topic amen I want to talk uh, as we're going we're, we're, we're entering into uh, almost a new year and uh, and just the spirit for life, amen, as we go forward, amen, we want to 
uh, remember uh, some things, amen. So amen, my, my uh, topic this morning, amen, is transformed, transformed, amen. And begin before we read the script, I'm going to talk about, amen, uh, the, the human, amen, uh, the person uh, and the people that we are and our makeup, amen. We are, we are made of body, soul, and what? Body, soul, and spirit. And I want to deal with this briefly, amen, before, before we get into the scripture. Uh, of course, the body is that physical house. It is the flesh, uh, and the flesh uh, really, uh, we we see it, amen. It is what we relate to, is what we we uh, kind of uh, look to uh, the most, amen. When we look at one another, we don't see our souls and we don't see our spirit. We see the the body. We see that flesh. Uh, but I would um, suggest that uh, maybe the the flesh is not uh, the strongest part of us, amen. Even though it is the most that which is most visible, amen. And uh, and the body, man, of course, uh, is is very important, amen. We don't minimize the uh, the body, man. We the body is uh, what is carrying us around, amen. And so we want uh, the body to be well, amen. Uh, how many want to be well, amen? We want we want to be well, amen. We want to be functioning. We want to uh, take care of it because uh, you only get one and so uh this body man physical house uh is uh important amen and so we don't want to downplay uh the physical amen and and you can function amen being disabled in the body man many people they write and they still teaching they're still doing certain things they're being effective uh, but but we 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 would like amen most of all to have a body that is doing well that is functioning amen so we uh, we make effort to uh, to guard it and to uh, protect it hopefully amen so it lasts for as long as the Lord would allow us to be here amen and so we thank God for that physical man, the flesh, the body, man, we are, we are most familiar with, amen. But there's also, amen, I'm going to skip the soul right now, but there's also the spirit. Uh, the spirit is um, uh, that inner uh, person, amen. It is, it is that which comes from uh, the Lord, amen. The spirit is, uh, is, it, is, it, is um, it comes from God, amen. It is what connects us with God. It is what connects us with God, amen. It is how God speaks to us, amen. He speaks through spirit. And so uh, when we say a person is spiritually dead, amen, it does not mean they don't have a spirit. It means that there is a separation uh, between them and God, amen. So so the spirit is there, uh, but, but separation is dead death amen separation from god is death amen so so if we're not saved then that means that god does not have that strong uh influence on us as as should be amen that is that means that we cannot hear god as we should because we are we are spiritually disconnected amen but when we receive the spirit of god the holy ghost amen there is a the spark amen and the life and we are able to hear, amen, and that the influence of God uh, now should be upon us. Uh, and so we, 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 we are made new, amen. We have, we are made new in, in spirit, amen. So when you receive the Holy Ghost, amen, you're made new in spirit. And when you receive the Holy Ghost, amen, you don't, you don't have, uh, you know, we talk about, you know, God, give me more uh, Holy Ghost and more uh, power, amen. All that is I say that, you say that, amen, but but really, amen, you have all the Holy Ghost you're going to have. That, that, that is all the Spirit of God that you're going to have, And but what you can do is allow the Spirit of God to have greater and greater influence on your spirit, amen, in your life. And so, so we submit, we walk in the Spirit. And we walk in the spirit, we will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Amen. So we are 
grateful for the, 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 the life that comes into us when we receive the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. That is the, the spirit of God. And so we, we want to, we want that spirit to shine forth. We want to hear, we want to listen to what the spirit of God is saying to us. Amen. I want to be submitted to uh, the Spirit of God. And, and so many people, they receive the Spirit of God and then we begin to wonder how in the world can they do what they do and say they got the Holy Ghost. We often think that. We often, uh, that may come out of our mouths. Amen. But but somebody can receive the Holy Ghost but yet not be submitted to that Spirit. That is why we study the Word of God. We, we uh, pray and we fast. Amen. Bringing us into submission to the spirit of God, amen, and having the will to, Lord, I want to and I am going to submit myself, amen, my spirit to your spirit, amen, and even this, saints, amen, even when it comes to uh, when, when somebody uh, speaks in tongues, amen, it is, it is the spirit of God that is moving upon them, and if you have the spirit of God, amen, it is that language that comes from the spirit, not from your mind, amen, it comes from the spirit of God in you, amen, and you begin to speak forth, amen, that uh, which the spirit is giving utterance, amen, the spirit is putting it forth, amen, thank God for the spirit putting forth unto us. Then there, amen, again, there is a soul. Your soul is uh, your, your person. It is your mind. It is your will, uh, your emotion. It is all there, amen. It's a part of the soul, amen. How you think, how you process, amen, how you feel about things. It is, it is all wrapped in your soul, amen. So, so, so when you get saved, saints, your body is the same. You, your body is not brand new. Is the same body. You still got those same corns on your feet. You still got that same mustache. You still got the you you still got the same hair. Amen. I know, I know, I know we say uh I looked at my hands and my and my hands look new and my and my feet did too, amen. You know, and I, I'm gonna tell you there's something to that, amen. Because when I received the Holy Ghost and I opened my eyes, it was there was, it was a newness. It was a, it was a, it was a newness. Amen. Everybody experience may not be the same, but there was uh, something. It was just a, a change. Amen. And, 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 and I believe it, it should be, but we're not relying on feelings. Amen. It's not about feelings. Amen. But, but with me, man, there was a newness, uh, that, that I felt a newness, uh, a, a, about me. Amen. So, so, uh, uh, again, that body is the same, but uh, but the spirit has been sparked, it's been made alive, amen. You have the spirit of God, but the soul of man, amen, that, saints, is a, a process, amen. That is a process. So when, when God began to talk about being renewed, amen, or, or changed, uh, amen, it is this part of us that must be changed. It is this part of us that needs to be renewed, amen. This, we, got to, we got to change our uh, way of thinking, amen. Our will needs to be trans, uh, ch changed over to the will of God, amen. We want our will to change, our emotions, even if we got out of whack emotions, we want that to change. We, don't, we want our mindset to change, amen. And this has not always happened all of a sudden. Amen. It's not always happened all of a sudden. Amen. Now, many times we want to put people, uh, uh, judge people upon our level. Amen. We've been saved for 20 years and then somebody come in and get saved uh, uh, a new. Amen. We expect them to, to, to do and to, and to have everything that, that we have. Amen. Or, or be advanced as we are. But, but they are, they are a, 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 a person who has to go through a process of, of change. Amen. And that is from being around God as we're being around uh, the people of God. Amen. And so sometimes we can't be so hard on people who are who are coming to God afresh because God is going to have to work on that soul. He's going to have to begin to shift them. He's going to have to begin to uh, to do things uh, in them. Now, now, they may be excited about God. Well, let me tell you one thing. Amen. They may be excited about God, but but at the same time, they are fragile. 
So you might be strong enough, amen. People don't talk about you enough, amen. People have condemned you enough, but, but you may have somebody who is new. They're excited about God, and you think they're strong in God, but there's some things they may not be able to handle because they are, they are they're becoming, amen. They're, they're coming to God, and, and so they, didn't, they don't have those same expectations. Amen. Their expectation is, amen, that people of God are not going to talk bad about me. People of God are not going to put me down. So, so they are, they are, they're excited, but, and they may be more excited than us. You better watch how, how, how you, you, you get to God. Because there, there are new people who come to God, amen, they are excited about God. They, you can't hold them down. They, they'll be a witness. They'll testify. They'll they run around the church, amen. They, they, are, they are excited to tell people about the Holy Ghost that they just received. They are, they are, they are into God, amen. They, they're in service. They, they are praying, amen. They, gotta, they develop a prayer life because I want to get to know this God. So in that, they are, they are doing a great thing. It's like, a, you know, a baby get excited about stuff. Amen. I remember my, my boy, uh, Silas, used to be excited to see me. I mean, he was just a little baby, and laying on his back on his little bed, amen, and I come in the house, he, he starts shaking. <laughs> excited to, to, to see me, amen. You know, and, and so when, when you knew there's an excitement, there's a, there, there can be a, 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 a thing that, that, is, that is there, but at the same time, there is that, that weakness, amen. There is that, that, that fragileness, amen. Can't, can't function fully on its own, amen. So, so saints of God, let's keep the excitement. How many are still excited about God? I mean, it still can think of his, when I think of his goodness and all that he's done for me, my soul still cries out. Hallelujah. Amen. I, I'm, I'm still excited about God. I'm still, uh, I'm still anticipating. I'm still uh, ready. Amen. To do the things of God. I'm ready. Amen. But, but saints of God understand that soul uh, can be fragile. So, so they might see something. They may see somebody do something or uh, uh, somebody may say something. It may, it may destroy them totally. Why? Because they are not, they have not developed. Amen. They have not come to a knowledge amen they they have not come to a place uh, of that strength and being rooted in god amen so they have to be treated well amen and treated amen in a proper manner amen and in a delicate place amen and so so we allow the spirit of god amen we allow the word of god to work on that soul that mind that that will amen and so so as children of god we we are people amen we have souls and and we need to allow the spirit of god to work on that soul so, because sometimes we still get mad too quickly. We still uh, may have uh, certain feelings. I mean, we still may have uh, certain uh, fears, amen, that are not of God. We still may have these things that are upon us that are, that are so uh, affecting us. Saints, that is the soul. Lord, Lord, bless my soul. Bless my mind. Bless my will, amen. Lord, direct my will. Direct my emotion. And so we come to the scripture in 2 Corinthians chapter number 3, verse 14. It says, but their minds were blinded, for until this day remain of the same veil untaken away uh, in the reading of the, the, the Old Testament, which veil is done away with in Christ. It's talking about uh, the Jews, amen, here Paul is writing, he's talking about his nation, the, the nation of Israel, amen. They are, their minds are still blind, amen, because of the blindness, they could not receive the, the testimony of Jesus, amen. They rejected him, even though they knew scripture, even though they, they read the Old Testament, which testified of Jesus, Yet their minds were blinded, amen, and veiled because, amen, they, 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 would, they had not come to that knowledge, amen. There was a veil that, uh, that was upon their face. But, but when you in Christ, amen, there should be lifting of the veil. And so Jesus lifted the veil, amen. If you can submit to him, amen, you can, the, the veil is, is lifted. And the 15th verse, but even unto this day when Moses is read, the veil is upon their, their heart. 
the heart, amen, that is, that is a part, that's the soul, amen. It's talking about the, the, the minds, amen, the minds are blinded there. Their hearts are, are, are veiled, amen. They, they can't receive it, amen, because of their minds and their, their hearts, amen. And we need to ask the Lord, Lord, help my mind and help my heart to be receptive of, of what you're doing and what you're saying. And the 16th verse, nevertheless, when it shall turn to the Lord, when it, amen, Israel, amen, when it shall turn to the Lord, the veil shall be taken away. Now, now, if something is 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 blinding you, is something is 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 shading your your sight, Amen. And then you 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 take that thing away, Amen. You are able to see what is what is truly uh, around you, Amen. You're able to uh, there, there is the illumination. Amen. And you can you can behold that which is around you. Amen. We want the veil to come off. So the veil should be taken away. Now the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Now, when you when you come under the spirit of God, amen, there is a liberty that comes upon us. There is this this freedom, amen, that we have in the Holy Ghost. Amen. Freedom, amen, to gain the knowledge of God and freedom, amen, to receive the things of God. And uh, but if your mind is not right, if your mind is not receptive to the things of God, amen, you cannot receive or, or walk in the liberty that God has given unto you. I'm going to want to have that liberty. The Spirit of God is a leader; it is a guide. It. Uh, it, it it shows us the way that we should go. Amen. You know, uh, the, the scripture speaks uh, in, in a whole lot of different things. Amen. But but it is also the spirit of God that speaks to us. Amen. In any given situation. In any given situation. Amen. God will God will speak to us. Amen. And we can have the liberty of of the Holy Ghost. Amen. You know, you know, no God, you know, we, we, we take the word, it is it, it is our example. Uh but but again, uh it is it sets parameters for us, amen. It, it, it's the guardrail for us, amen. But when we when we're going in this direction with God, amen, God is speaking, amen, all the way through. I say God is speaking all the way through. Amen. Let me let me let me tell you, amen. You know, uh, you can have a speed limit on the highway. But how many of us not always wise to follow that speed limit? They tell you to move with the traffic. Anybody been behind somebody that's been too slow on the highway? And how disruptive. It can be in how people can cause an accident. Amen. I, I remember, I remember, and I don't know what the situation was when my daughter had first started driving, and, and I don't know what happened, but she almost stopped on the interstate. Completely stopped. And 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 man, we went, we went wow, you know, because the traffic is moving. The traffic is moving, amen. And I, I don't know exactly. It was something. It was something crazy going on. But, but, but stopping wasn't the way to to handle it, amen. And and so so you have the speed limit, but within that, amen, you use your knowledge, amen. The the, the, the speed limit may say seventy on the highway, but if you got snow, or let's say ice, on that highway. You have ice on the highway, amen. Even though you, 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 you're legal to go 70, amen, according to what the sign says, but, but your, your wisdom and your knowledge tells you something else. Your knowledge tells you to go slow, amen, if you have to be out here. Your first wisdom might tell you not to, not to get on the ice. But if you happen to be on the ice, amen, your wisdom and your knowledge and your, well, your, your inner man is going to let you know, amen, it is not a good thing, amen, to go 70 right now. 
And so, amen, you, you, you have the knowledge, amen, you have wisdom, amen, and so God even saints, God speaks to us in several different ways, amen. God may, God may want you to say nothing, and then may, God may want you to say something. Because we got, we got examples of both in the scripture. One, t- one time God says to Moses, stretch out your rod. And, 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 uh, and another time God may, God told him to, to throw the rod on, on the ground, amen, so it might, uh, consume the snakes of the, of the, uh, the, the Egyptians, amen. And, and so, so in, in different situations, God spoke, amen, in different ways, amen, still being in the will of God. But they had, a, a knowledge and a wisdom in God, amen, and as your soul develops, saints, you begin to develop this knowledge of God. You begin to develop, amen, an understanding of God, amen, uh, uh, to the point, amen, that when you first got saved, amen, somebody, somebody would have caused you to backslide, but but now, amen, you, you're settled in God, and amen, and that thing that would have destroyed you won't destroy you now. That thing that would have killed you would not kill you now. Why? Because I have a knowledge of God. I have an understanding of God. Amen. Yes, that that bill would have had me worried, amen, some years ago, but now I know my God. I know how much God is able to move. I know how God is able to move. Why? Because I've seen him do it. And I have an assurance in my spirit that God, amen, is going to help me in this and through this. Amen. How many thank God for the mind of God, the, the will of God, the, the, the things of God that is, a, that is upon us. Amen. That, that, that when people look at me strange, amen, it don't affect my emotion to the point where hey, I'm going to sit down on God. Amen. See, your praise should not, not be dependent on any other person. It should not be dependent on any individual, amen. My praise belongs to God, amen. I give it unto him, amen. I, I bless him, I praise him. And no other thing around me is going to affect what I give unto him, amen, because my soul is grounded, amen. I'm rooted, amen. I know him. My mind is right towards God. I thank God for the liberty of the Holy Ghost. Thank God for the liberty of the Holy Ghost. Amen. And one of the biggest things that that caused people uh, to be bound, saints, many times is is a, a religious. Amen. The religion. Amen. And so so we don't it don't it, 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 we think sometimes we're doing things for the Lord, but it's not really for him. Anybody ever heard? Amen. My, my grandma was this way. So that's what I'm going to be. Or, or, or my, ba- my daddy was this way, so this is what I'm going to do. This is how I'm going to be, amen. But, 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 but the, in that, amen, there can be a, a place of, uh, of, of, of not having the liberty of the Holy Ghost. Not having the liberty of the Holy Ghost, amen. I thank God for the liberty of the Holy Ghost, amen. To, to have the knowledge of God, to have the, the understanding of God, that God can speak to my heart. God can speak to my mind, amen. And let me know what to do and, and, and lift the veil off of me, amen. How many thank God that he will lift the veil? See, says there's some people who can think evil even of themselves. So you can have all kinds of knowledge. And 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 sometimes people can who people who are very beautiful can think they're ugly. And when you have that mindset, it affects your action. It affects how you carry yourself. Amen. And then it also affects how you look. Because, amen, how you're thinking is going to affect how you are even viewed. Because, you know, you can see people who are not that attractive. But they got their head up. 
they acting pretty. They carry themselves pretty. And it, it actually affects how they look. Because, because of what they think. They think they look good. And because they think they look good, they, they up themselves a little bit. At the same time, you think you look bad. That makes you look a little worse than you, how you, than what you, where you are. Because of how you're thinking, amen, it is how your, your mind is working. It's my, it is how, amen, your, your mind is functioning. There, there are brilliant people in the, in the world, but, but if their mind is not right, amen, they're not thinking correctly, amen, then they miss the mark. They do things that are foolish. They do things that are, uh, that are, that are, that are destructive. Amen. Even though they may have knowledge, amen, the, that the soul is not right. Amen. The mind is not working correctly. Their emotions are off. Amen. And therefore they are off. Lord, renew my mind. Thank God for the liberty of the Holy Ghost. Amen. I am committed. To even things that I have not seen, but I still know that God is able to do. Amen. I'm, I'm going after that. Come on, somebody. Say, I'm going after what God has. Amen. Even though it may not be before me, even though it may, I, I may not behold it, amen. Even though it may not be something I've had great exposure to, amen, I still know that it is available. I know it's available. Amen. Many times, uh, even churches, uh, uh, we limit uh, ourselves, amen, based on what we have seen only, amen. And what we have seen may not be bad. It, it may be a good thing, amen. But I believe there's even more. Come on. I believe there's even more. So, so Lord, help my mind, amen. God, give me the liberty to not not just be within the in the, uh, the 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 realm of what I have seen and what I've already experienced, Lord. I want to go beyond that. I want to go beyond that, Amen. I want the the liberty to go beyond that, Lord. Help me to experience things I have never experienced before. Help me to go into things that I've never seen before, Lord. Help me and open up a way of, of knowledge and a and, and a mind, Amen. That, Lord, I have not really been exposed to before, Lord. Lord, do it for me because I want to walk in everything. I want to I want to do everything that you said. I want to I want every potential there is, Lord. I want to reach that. I want to I want to go to that place, Lord. Lord Lord, help my mind, my will, my emotion. Help me to break through, oh God, every limitation. Every limitation. Because, amen, we have limited to oftentimes ourselves. Amen. Sometimes people uh, will, will try to limit us. Amen. You know, they'll, they'll say, you know, how the people in our family never did that. It, Nobody has, nobody's gotten uh, that kind of degree. Let's put it in the natural here. Amen. Nobody has ever reached that level of, 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 of finance. Nobody has ever done that. Amen. In in our in our circle. Amen. In our in our family. Amen. Whatever it might be. And and and, and so 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 therefore you can't go much further. Is what they're trying to say. Why are you trying to break that? Why are you trying to go beyond that? Amen. Yeah, we, we always been farmers. We always done this. We always been that. Amen. And, and so that we put that limitation. Amen. And, and so, so sometimes because we want to be associated with. Yeah, let me tell you something. Because we want to be so strongly associated with that. We stop ourselves because of the potential of effecting that relationship. Because I want to be able to go to Uncle Scooter's house and do what they do and be accepted in the group. But if I break through this, then I might not be accepted at Uncle Scooter's house. And so we allow that parameter to block us, to, to fit in, 
Amen. How many know God don't always want you to fit in? God don't always want you to fit in with everything, amen. Sometimes God will excel you and bless you, amen. And you've got to get that in your mind. That's got to be a change in your mind, amen, before you can break through and come into the things of God, amen. You've got to change your, your mind. You've got to be willing and able, amen, to accept what God is doing in your life. How many believe that God is taking you somewhere? Oh, I don't have the time to deal with this like I want to, amen. But let's read uh, 18 verse, amen. But we all, with all op with open faces, beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord. How many was in him? Uh, we behold the glory of the Lord, Amen. And uh, and and here is the uh, the the the, the crust of, of of what we're talking, Amen. This morning, Amen. Uh, that the second part it says uh, are changed, changed, Amen. Here is transformed. It is uh, the, the the word, Amen. Or originates, Amen, from. Uh, metamorpho, amen, metamorphosis. It is a, a change uh, into the image uh, from glory to glory. How many of God would change you from glory to glory? God would take you from knowledge to knowledge. God will take you from blessing to blessing, to, from level to level, amen. I've gotten on this level, amen, but God will even break you through that level amen uh that level you never thought you would reach god will break you through that level amen i believe that god is able to break through every level i believe that god is able to break through every uh every boundary amen god is able to take us amen from glory to glory amen and so we've got to be open we've got to be willing to change amen it is just like uh, amen that metamorphosis amen meta is to change amen morphosis uh, a form or shape amen it is that it is that change that happens within us, change that, that happens, amen, again, first of all, amen, God speaks to us, amen, through spirit, amen, there's got to be a change of mind, saints, you got to get in that word until your mind begin to change. Yeah, I know, I know the doctor may some, say something about, amen, what you're going through and, amen, it's chronic, amen, you never get over this, amen, but, but I, I encourage you to continue to get in that word, amen. Continue to read the scripture that talks about your healing. Continue uh, to, to pray, amen. Continue to be over that thing. Don't just accept what they say, man. They got knowledge, amen. They, they're, 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 they're good in what they do, amen. But God has more power than the knowledge of the doctors. God has more power than the knowledge of anybody else, amen. So God is still a healer. God is a healer, amen. So, so if we can get it in our minds, amen. See, saints, it's already in your spirit. It's already in your spirit. It's already a part of your spirit, but your mind is not right. Your mind is blocking you. Your mind, amen, is not in the right place. And so God wants us to draw our mind in the right place. So there can be a, a transformation, a change, a, a metamorphosis. It's just like that, 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 uh, that caterpillar, amen. He goes through the, the, the phases, I mean, he's an egg, and then we, we see the caterpillar. But the caterpillar, amen, is not the end. Sometimes that caterpillar is kind of ugly, amen. And he crawling on his belly, amen. He don't have the right kind of level, amen. He 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 he's he's vulnerable to a lot of different things, amen. But 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 he's a caterpillar. He's just he's just going through. A, it is the phase he is in right now. But understand, amen. If he can survive, he is going to continue to go through a metamorphosis. He's going to continue to be transformed. And it's going to be, he's going to be uh, that caterpillar. Then he's going to hang somewhere. Amen. He's going to build a cocoon. And in that cocoon, amen, something is happening. Amen. There is a metamorphosis going on. 
there's a transition going on. And amen, when the transition is, is, is over, amen, he breaks from the cocoon and he emerges as a butterfly. And we say, how can that become that? He went through a transition. He went through a transition. Amen. I should not look at you 10 years from now. And you're still in the same place. There has to be metamorphosis. There's a metamorphosis. God will change you. God will change you, saints. God will change anybody. I just believe God can change anybody. And, 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 and if you're not saved, amen, even I believe that God is able to change. You see, the problem is people trying to change themselves. I got some things to work out before I come to God. I got to get some things situated. I, I want to come, but I, I just got to get some things situated first. Are you trying to do it without the one who can change you? Don't sit and wait for things to be situated right. Let God work on you. Look in the word of God. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Somebody say, Lord, help my mind. Lord, help my mind. Somebody say, somebody say, transformed. Come on, how many God know God is transforming me? God is taking me through a metamorphosis. And sometimes when God is changing you, and amen, he'll change even your environment. He'll change uh, 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 some things about you, amen. You know, uh, I, I, I couldn't find what I was looking for this morning, but uh, I, I, it was my mind to bring an old shirt that used to fit me real good. And I was going to put my shirt on. But when I put that shirt on now, just cross it over. Why? Because I went through a change. See, and my wife had to let me know, you can't wear that no more. So when you begin to, to, to do a metamorphosis, amen, you can't, it's going to change you. It's going to change your mind. It's going to change, uh, if it applies, it'll change your wardrobe. Come on, somebody. It'll change sometime your friends. Amen. It's going to change you. It's going gonna, it's gonna to bless you. You're going you're gonna to be able to level up. Amen. You, some things you used to do, you're not going to do anymore. Ah, that's why I say sometimes you got to let God work on people. Let that word work. Let that spirit work. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm just saying, amen. I'm, uh, I might be aging myself, amen. Somebody may be looking like a, a hoochie right now. I don't think they use that no more. Hoochie mama, yeah. I don't know what the word is now. It's always changing. But, 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 but if God begins to work on that heart and God begins to work on that mind, amen, God will begin to bring some kind of conviction. God will, God will bring some kind of uh, transformation and understanding of what I do, need to do, amen. My language uh, begins to change, amen. My, my mindset begins to change. Uh, my, my understanding of God begins to change. And my understanding of the world around me begins to change, uh, amen, because I'm transformed. I'm transformed. I'm telling you, saints, uh, get before the face of God. God and allow God to transform you. Lord, open my understanding. Open my horizon, God. Lord, let there be something in me, amen, that I have never had before. Lord, let there be a level upon me, oh God. Let there be a glory upon glory. Let there be a door open that I never imagined to be open. Why? Because I have been transformed. Uh, there's been a metamorphosis that has, that has come upon me, amen. God, I, I just want to thank Thank you. Holy boldness. 
whatever it is. Amen. Everybody stand on your feet. Amen. My time is gone. There's got to be a, a transformation. Transformation. Thank you, Jesus. It must be a transformation. Thank you, Jesus. You know, sometimes we get in our mind and say, well, I've always struggled. So this is the way it's going to be. Or a church might have it in the mind. We, we never broke. We never broke a hundred. We never broke two hundred. We never broke three hundred people. We never broke into that. And so that becomes the mindset. That becomes the expectation. We accept it as the norm. But if God can transform our thinking, if God can transform the way we see it, and I'm not just sitting here talking about positive thinking. I'm not talking about new age, nothing. New, no new age stuff here. But there's power saints in the way you think. There's power in the way you process a thing. There's power in it. And so we want God to transform. Hallelujah. Now, if you don't want to get up in the morning, amen, when you begin to change your thinking, you're ready to jump out the bed. Why? Because you're thinking has been transformed, changed. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I want God to transform you. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I believe that God will. I believe that God is able to transform. Hallelujah. We're going to pray in the name of Jesus that even as we enter, that the Lord be merciful. A new year that our thinking and our minds begin to change. Saints, I'm encouraging you to stay before God. I'm encouraging you to read your word and to pray and even to fast and allow God to transform your mind. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, I want to thank you today for your blessings. I want to thank you, Lord, for the worship. I want to thank you, Lord, for your word. God, I want to thank you for your people. And I pray right now, oh God, for our sake, that you would bless us in the name of Jesus. Bless us individually right now, God. Bless us collectively. Bless your people, oh God. Shower down your, your mind. and Oh God, let your spirit be made manifest in us in the name of Jesus. God, we open up our, our souls to you, Lord. We open up our souls to you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, God, we pray for your blessing. We pray, oh God, for your anointing upon us. We pray, oh God, for your direction. We pray that we will have your mind right now. In the name of Jesus. Bless God. And God transform us into your image. In the name of Jesus. Let's give God a praise in the house. You may be seated. We're about to go. Thank you, Lord. Let me say this. When, you're, when you, you don't have the Spirit of God guiding you, then you're open to all kind of stuff. Because the devil is spirit too. And he will also deal with our spirit. 
That's why sometimes people do just do all kinds of evil. And that's why I tell you, submit yourself unto God. Submit yourself unto God. Open yourself up unto him. We letting all kind of stuff into our spirits and our minds these days. And then we act them out. Or God can't break through to us. Y'all realize we can't even concentrate that much these days? Because there's so much stuff stimulating us. I'm talking to myself now. Sometimes you got to put the phone down. Sometimes you got to turn that TV off. Learn how to bring your mind in. Bring your mind in. Have you ever sat down and just meditated on one thing? Try it for five minutes. And see if other stuff come up to your mind. Because that is what we have opened ourselves up to. And so much stimulus, stimulation all around us. But I want you to bring your mind in, saints, and meditate on God. What does what does it say? Whatever things are uh, good, lovely, right? good report. Think on these things. Thank you, Lord. So try it this week, y'all. I'm, I'm going to say I'm going to think on this for, for five minutes. And 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 fix, see how, how, how long you can really think on that. And see. Amen. Come on. We're about to go. Everybody stand. Transform by the renewing of your mind. Be transformed. Thank you, Lord. Dear God, we thank you for your blessings. We thank you for this time and this opportunity you allow us to come to your house. Thank you for your people. I pray God your blessings as we prepare to leave this place, but not your presence. God, let your praise continue to be in our mouth and in our hearts. God, we're going to give you glory, honor, and thanks. It's in the name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. Amen.